Because at least uh, a lot of people like in our circles, you listen to certain bands and certain artists because um, you think they're really cool. And then you listen to other bands because it makes you cool if you listen to them. <laughs> yeah, it's sort of a credibility thing. If you can say you listen to this band or that band, then people will go, oh, you are so much cooler than I am. <laughs> And then, um, you know, so there's people in me, you really strive for that. You're always discovering the new, best, coolest kind of music. And then Christmas rolls around, and you go, and you pull out John Denver and the Muppets. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, and you just realize that there's something about Christmas that allows you to sort of just forget about all the rest of that stuff. Because Christmas lights on a house, they're not really that cool. And, uh, but we all really strive to be the best at that as we can be. Um, I do. Maybe I shouldn't put you in that same category. You might not do that, but I do. That's my confession. Um, so anyway, there's this record that I put on. It's the first record that I put on every Christmas. And, um, it's called, uh, John Denver's Rocky Mountain Christmas. I know, John Denver is exceptionally cool. I say that, and it makes me cooler just saying that. Um, but there's a song in there that, um, that is just one that, that to me, it's, it's, it might as well be a hymn. Because it really is just, it's a song that really captures to me, um, again, this bigger story of Christmas and the gifts that we have. Um, in this place where we get to live at this point in history. Um, and so we thought tonight we would play this song for you all. This is called Christmas for Cowboys.